Big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Did you ever try frying your pork ribs? Well, let me tell you, it's a good idea. It's very easy, very simple, and it's a cheap way to cook your pork ribs. Because most people, like I, have a deep fryer. And it's one of the simplest way to cook pork ribs. Because all you need is a deep fryer and this. Oh, this is beef tallow. In the Netherlands, we call it ox white. But basically, it is beef fat that you can fry things in. And it's the magical stuff that makes your fry taste amazing. And let me tell you, it's also the magical stuff that makes your pork ribs taste amazing. These are pork ribs. And of course, I selected the most beautiful pork ribs I can find. St. Louis style ribs. Which means they're trimmed up, squared up, and they look like this. Now these are gonna be perfect for my deep frying recipe. And the first step to cooking these pork ribs is to melt the beef tallow. I'm gonna set the fryer to a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna keep this very, very simple. All I'm gonna do is put on some pepper and some salt. I'm not even going to take off the membrane. And the reason that I'm not taking it off is that I'm expecting it to be nice and crunchy and there's no need for the season to penetrate. So just a little bit of Szechuan pepper that's gonna bring a little bit of Asian flavor to it. Did you know that if you use pepper grinders like these out of the store, that they have two settings? One, and then pull the cap. And that's how this thing has two settings, one fine and one coarse. Of course, I'm gonna sprinkle on some salt. We don't need too much of it, just a little bit. I flip the ribs around and do the same on the other side. Of course, the whole rib's not gonna fit in my deep fryer. I'm gonna cut it up into squares like that. And this is ready to go in the fryer. Just place them in the basket and let them drop down into the oil. These ribs are now in slow frying mode. We don't have that 180 degrees Celsius that's gonna give you that instant crust on the outside. I'm looking for these things to cook slowly, just like we do with smoking. Except now we're frying. All of that moisture that comes out of the ribs, of course, is going to come up into the oil, give you those little bubbles, and then just evaporate. And at the same time, it's gonna build up a nice crust on these ribs. It's gonna take longer for these ribs to cook and they're not going to burn like you would with 180 degrees Celsius. And after two hours of frying, the ribs look like this. It's like magic. I wanna show you real quick. Look at the color. Look at how beautiful that looks. And everybody that thought, what is he doing? Frying the ribs, that's nonsense. Don't do it, dude. Seriously, if you fry your turkey, you definitely need to fry your ribs like this. Oh, look at the color. I could just tear into this, and they're ready to go. However, I'm gonna do more with them. I wanna take it to the next level. I'm a barbecue guy. I'm gonna fire up my grill, and we're going to make them even better. But before I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna turn on the side burner of my Napoleon Prestige Pro. Gas on, ignition, big fat gas explosion, groaning gas. Moet je geen grap over maken. Mensen hun huizen storten in. Als het jouw huis was, had je nu ook niet gelachen hoor. We have lots of gas in the Netherlands. Great stuff. I'm gonna put on my Scotsburg pan. We're gonna put in a tablespoon of sesame oil, one clove of garlic chopped up, let that fry. Two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons of honey. Two tablespoons of sweet chili sauce, three tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and four tablespoons of soy sauce. Time to fire on all burners now. I'm going to turn on the knobs, get my gas grill going, and I'm going to set them to a low setting. What I want to achieve with that is get a nice a gentle heat that rocks over the whole grill so we can sear off those beautiful ribs and at the same time get that sticky sauce on. These are my beautiful fried ribs and look at how good they look. They've been sitting on a dripping tray and all of the beef tallow has dripped off. It's just a clean, crunchy rib. I'm gonna put them over direct heat. There we go, nothing crazy here. Just low temperatures, keeping the ribs warm. And now it's time for the game changer. This sauce is gonna make these fried ribs freaking delicious. It's gonna make them sticky, it's gonna make them flavorful, it's gonna make them pop. It's the magic sauce that makes these ribs special. And by leaving them on a warm grill, it's gonna become very, very sticky. Got a little bit of sizzle right there. I'm gonna close the lid. 
and let these ribs become sticky. After about 10 minutes, we're gonna flip them around, do the same thing on the other side. And another 10 minutes, the ribs are done. Look at that. <laughs> super, super shiny, amazing looking ribs. Of course, we need to try these. <laughs> Cutting through them like butter. They are so soft and so juicy. Fantastic ribs, nice and sticky. Only one way to find out. Let's give them a try. Mmm, look at that bite. Oh, clean up the bone. Approved? Yes. There you go. Yeah, the little girl says it's okay. Daddy's little girl. I'm for a little. Yeah. Daddy's little girl was growing up. 